Hello and welcome back to the Coder Shop channel, where we simplify Odoo for you. In today's video, we are exploring consignment in Odoo 18. How vendors can place their products in your warehouse, how we can manage and track them, and how to sell those items without owning them upfront. It's a smart way to expand your offerings without inventory risk, while giving vendors a chance to reach new customers. So let's jump into Odoo and see how it all works. The first thing we need to do is enable the consignment feature. To do this, head over to the inventory module, then go to configuration, settings, and under the traceability section, you'll find an option called consignment. Make sure to check this box and click save. This setting allows Odo to track products that are physically stored in your warehouse, but are still legally owned by a vendor. In other words, you can stock and even sell these items, but they don't count toward your own inventory from an accounting perspective. Now that consignment is enabled, let's walk through how to receive consignment stock. Since it's not purchased, there is no purchase order or quotation involved. So we'll be entering this receipt manually. To do that, let's go to the Operations tab, click into Receipts and create a new one. In the receive from field, choose the vendor who's sending the consignment goods. Then look for the field labeled assign owner. This is where you tell Odoo who actually owns the product you're receiving. Since the product received from the vendor will be owned by the same vendor, the receive from and assign owner fields must match. Now let's add the product. Then go ahead and select large desk as our example item. And set the quantity to 10 units. Once everything looks good, click Validate to confirm the receipt, and the product is now available in our warehouse. Now let's open the large desk product card. At the top of the screen, you'll see the on hand Smart button, which shows that we currently have 10 units in stock. On the General Information tab, you'll notice the cost field is set to $1,000. Normally, this cost is used to calculate the total inventory valuation. So with 10 desks at $1,000 each, you'd expect the valuation to be $10,000. But with consignment stock, it works a bit differently. Let's check what Odo actually shows for the valuation. There are a few ways to do this, but for now let's just click the on hand smart button. Here you'll see that the value is listed as zero. That's because even though we physically have these 10 desks in our warehouse, Odo recognizes that they are still owned by someone else. Since we don't legally own them, they are not included in the value of our inventory. Next, let's see what happens when a customer orders a consigned product. We'll start by going to the sales module and creating a new quotation. Let's select a customer and add our consigned product, the large desk. Once that's done, we'll confirm the sales order and validate the delivery. When we process the delivery, Odo automatically picks the product from our warehouse stock, even though it's still owned by the vendor. That's the power of consignment. It allows us to fulfill orders immediately, without needing to purchase or receive the product first. Next, let's go back to the sales order and continue with the usual flow. We'll create the draft invoice, confirm it, and register the customer's payment. At this point, we've sold the product. So now it's time to pay the vendor. To do that, let's head to the accounting module, go to vendors, bills, and create a new one. In the vendor field, we'll choose ReadyMed, the original owner of the product. Now let's add the item, large desk, specify the quantity sold, and enter the cost we agreed on with the vendor. Don't forget to set the bill date. Once everything looks good, just click Confirm to post the bill and proceed with the vendor payment. And that's it. You've now seen how consignment works in Odoo 18. From enabling the feature and receiving vendor-owned stock, all the way through to selling the product and setting the cost by creating a vendor bill after it's sold. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss future tutorials from the Kodeshop channel.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.